I'm going to put that there. And then I get the elastic on because I'm going to take that around too so that it actually stays on his leg. And then it's going to off gas. And it will evaporate eventually. It's not going to... Okay, you stay there because it smells. You know it smells bad. No, no, no. Do, do. Doot, doot. All right. I don't want everything rolling off the top of the car. So it turns into a gas. So I don't think there's anything really left in here. Opening up away from the space. Oh, yeah, there's drops in there. Okay, that's enough drops in there to get off gas on his foot. Come here. Put that on. Zip it up. See, I just zipped it up. And then I... He's used to this. We've been doing this for like a week now. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with the dog. I don't do it too tight around him either. And I do do it in a way that it's catching his leg and the bag. So that's going to off gas the chlorine dioxide in his toes and help to heal the, his sore foot. He used to have a really bad problem with yeast, you know, it's caused by all those, you know, I don't have to tell you, you know, my channel, you've been on my channel for a while now. So what would happen is he would get like an all over body flare and he would start to stink really gross so he has a special diet that he's on he's on a special diet he's been his skin has been really clear and I've been giving him the same stuff but different in liquid form to drink in the morning and at night in chicken broth and he's been getting so much better like he hasn't had a skin flare up in a long time he can't eat beef which I'm pretty sure because they do a lot of those things in bovine solution you know what I'm talking about I'll show you in a second really so there's still residual it's gonna off gas in there okay the biggest lie in the history of mankind is that these things are for your health and they're not okay so they make it on a bovine solution and make it with human DNA and it's disgusting and it's evil and it's pharmacy and it's garbage. So because of that, he's so hyper allergic to beef, he can't eat anything beef. So if I give him beef, he has like a huge, a huge reaction. And so this is what I've got left and you see how it's like you know it's not totally dissolved it hasn't absorbed in his foot and that was three days this one will stay on for two and he's pretty much almost 100 percent better i mean i'm not seeing like a huge deep hole in his hoof anymore she's been good are you good you've been walking good huh so yeah when i get home i'll dump out my first aid box get all the garbage out but what I keep in there is just everything I've been using for the last month I mean I wrap Nokomis's foot every two days I've been doing his hoof every two days I had to do her hoof every two days so yeah that's, that's been my life for the last month over and out this is probably going to be three videos and i'll upload it like next week i'm not going to bother with it today I'm staying off the computer today it's the sabbath so by the time you see it, it'll be probably monday over and out the there